Okay. I'm not muted. Right, <laughs> finally. Right, welcome back. This is... I'm doing something new here. I've just recently got into arcade games. So I've been getting into very classic arcade games. I like the bite-sized gameplay. And it's and when I was younger, I didn't realise I just thought they're like really there's nothing involved, it's just like mind numbingly pointless. But as I've been playing these arcade games recently I've realised that there's a lot of strategy involved and a lot of skill involved. I don't know why, when you're younger you just think, well this is pointless. But man, I've really started to get into these and get in. when you actually I think it's just because I've been playing shmups and fighting games recently and I've been looking at those differently. Oh, it's all because of shmups. Shmups has taught me to look at games differently and play them differently. And I think that's what's made me finally discover what makes arcade games great. Because when you're not, before playing shmups, I just thought, well, I just got to get to the end and clear it. But, we turn, let me turn the aircon on because it's bloody hot in here. <laughs> um, when you start playing some up seriously, you realise you're playing it not to clear it, but to observe and learn it, and you're playing it to have fun and enjoy the systems. And before that, I used to think, oh, like, I want to clear a game, and that's it. But that's you're kind of missing the point of why you're playing games. You're playing games to, and there's a few reasons, isn't there? To have escape reality, is one of them, to release stress, and to have fun and enjoy. And to clear a game is not... Why would you want to clear it? Because I mean, you end that enjoyment. So now I think that's why I didn't like arcade games because you don't really clear them. But now I've played shmups and now I've looked at shmups differently. It's made me look at every game differently. And because of shmups, I enjoy games more now. And I, because I approach games differently, I spend more time in them and don't have, don't feel like I need to beat them. I think in today's age, well, it's not so much today's age, but when you're younger, when you're young, you end up having only like a few selections of games because you can't afford a games yourself, obviously. So you only get like one new game or two new games every birthday or at Christmas. So you're forced to play the same games over and over again. So you get some more attachment memories to them and you haven't spent a lot more time on them because you can't move on. But when you're older and you can afford your own games, you end up, and with all these sales going on, but really cheap games, you end up buying loads of games. You've got this whole selection of games and it gives you this pressure you need to beat them. And you lose the whole initial, like, reason to play games and, you, like, the enjoyment. Because I need to buy, I need to beat this game so I can go into the next games. I need to clear a backlog. I'm like, well, you just end up being a chore. You're not really enjoying it. It is. It's, you don't really enjoy it because I've done that recently. I was like, right, I need to beat these games because I've got other games to play. But then I'm not fully enjoying the game I'm playing at the moment because I'm too worried about I need to go into the next game. And then I'm like, what's the point? Why, why should I play games if I'm going to do that? So now I've just recently went, right, I'm just going to... Who cares if it takes me ages to beat one game? I'm just going to play it and then play it until I fully enjoy it. So, I think when you get older, yeah, the, the plus is you can buy your own games and you don't have to worry about waiting every birthday for a new game. But then the, the bad thing about that is that you can't fully enjoy a game because you're just, you get saturated with all these games you're in. So what I should suggest, suggest to people who are like, maybe have forgotten that, is to stop buying your games and just play them and actually enjoy them. I've got a lot of friends who like just buy games for the fad. And at the time, they actually don't really play them. They just have the hobby of buying games. And then they don't play. They play like two hours and move on. And I'm like, well, why did you buy a game in the first place? So I'm trying to go back to, I'm trying to pretend that I haven't got all these games. I'm trying to like simulate being a child where you can't buy these games anymore. And if I do that, I can enjoy games more. And now, and that, of course, with the whole shmup realization that just clearing a game isn't the point. I think when you're younger, you can't clear the games; they're too hard. Like if you remember, maybe when back in the game I had Sega and SNES, and I used to remember like Adam's Family. I loved that game as a kid, and I played it loads. But I never beat it. I loved it, but if I play it now, I'm like, oh, I need to beat it now. But why do I need to beat it? If I don't beat it, if it was the point, but why? When you're young, you couldn't beat it. It's too hard, but you still played it because you enjoyed it. So. The 
goal is never to clear the game. It should never be. It's to enjoy it and just experience it and actually learn the game. And that's the enjoyment. If you don't enjoy when playing it and you want to, and you're like, oh, I need to clear it, and you try and do it as fast as possible, like, fast as possible, it means you're not enjoying it. So what's the point? And because I've got this new realization, now I've been have a new appreciation for old arcade games. And there's so many arcade games I can't wait to get through them properly. But the problem is, it's eating my time up. So I haven't had, I've been taking a break from shmups and handled a fighting game for a while properly. And I haven't done my twin six shooters. But because I want to get into arcade games a bit longer because they're very short like five minutes and I, of course if you get really good then you can go on for ages but I'm not good at them I just enjoy them so I thought I would do is I'm gonna I'll be streaming this but I'm gonna upload this to YouTube so this is gonna be a new series a retro series and it's a stream on Twitch and I'm gonna upload it to YouTube so it's raw I'm not gonna edit it at all because I've just spoke about all this stuff, it's going to be a, this episode's not just a game, but I'm going to be talking while playing, so. So we're going to stick with, this episode is just classic Pac-Man. And I've played a few of them, I've got the Pac-Man collection on PS4. Pac-Man Museum Plus. I haven't played them all yet, because I want to I play them properly. And out of the ones I've played so far, this is my second favourite Pac-Man game, I think. This is so classic. I say, I say third favourite because i got other ones. We'll move on to other ones in the next stream. But this stream is just going to be... We're just going to play Pac-Man. For some reason my high score is only 70? What is... It, hang on. Is this my main... Yeah, why is it saying my high score is only 70? That's weird. Maybe, I thought it saved it. I guess it saves it on, um, overall or something. But anyway, I'm hoping that the audio is not bad. So, I have played this a few times. This is definitely, i played a few ports of Pac-Man. Like, I've been experimenting with, like, the Atari version, the Game Boy version, say, of all the different versions. And it seems like the ports of Pac-Man are definitely easier. They've made them easier. Because this original arcade version... Is definitely the hardest version. The ghosts are just more intelligent, I think. They're more, they're more like unpredictable. They can really screw you over. So I've never got that far in this. My goal is to try and get to round five because the good thing about whoa, Pac Man Museum is that it gives you like missions to do. Ah. Oh. So it gives you like some like more replayability. It gives you like I know like back in the day it was all about just getting a high score, but and I'm interested in that as well. But this is a good entry to arcade games as collection because it gives you like side missions to do like clear five rounds on Pac Man. I'm not even doing one round here. This is gonna I'm talking. This is my first time doing it and just, like streaming, so I'm not gonna play well. And plus I'm not good at these games anyway. So this is gonna be a practice run, but. My personal goal is to do five rounds, and this is one round, so... And each round... The ghosts get faster, and the power pellet doesn't last as long. So eventually, when you get a power pellet, they just blink straight away, and it's, like, really difficult. And I've realised, oh my god... <laughs> I'm going to be doing crap for the first few runs, anyway. One of my strategies is... I want to try and get, first of all, I don't want to get a power pellet until all the ghosts are out. Because that'd be a waste. And I want to try and get a power pellet when most of the ghosts are near me. Because if you're going for score, you want to get the combination of uh, ghosts. Like if I get two, three ghosts in a row, you get like a massive type boost. So you go 400 and it goes to 800. So you want to get like that if you want to go for score. So like it depends on what I want to do like in the session. Like this session I'm probably going to aim for just doing round clears, not score. So I don't have to worry about that too much. So my goal is to do five round clears. Let's give me about this game. You can like give yourself different types of personal goals because there's there's rounds and there's scores. So you can just say I'm going to try and get to round 10 and not worry about your score. Or you can say I'm going to try and get a good score and not worry about rounds. Or you can do both. But I'm going to be focusing on rounds. Because I'm focused on trying to get to fifth round I'm not going to try and use my strategy about getting power pellets when there's lows near me because I'm not worried about the score too much of course if you get like um 
I think it's 20,000 you get a credit so the more if you get a score you do get credits after a credit score so it's worth getting but the, the what the thing oh god they're getting fast the th I'm screwed oh I mean I have found <laughs> these, are, these are dangerous the thing is arcade games are probably the most dangerous because when you really get into like an arcade game well I mean the whole point of the game is escapism, isn't it? And like getting and just, and forgetting about the world. Say you've got a bad day and you want to forget about the bad day. And that's what games are about. But modern games, it's hard to really get immersed uh, because there's so much stuff going on. But because this game is more focus based and you've got to be like really on the ball, which I'm not. When you start playing a well, you end up just zoning in. You go into that zen state and then you just completely forget everything. You just literally go into just like. You're not like brain dead, but you're like just sucked in, and you're just completely like like a drone. Like, you're like a zombie, but you're focusing. It's hard to say. You're like a focused zombie Zen state, and it's like really. I've only had that experience of arcade games and Tetris puzzle games. Tetris is really bad for that as well. When you really get into Tetris, you can just you're just gone. You just out. It was going by. This is not good. Oh my god, it's only round two as well. I got a credit. I was 10,000 for the first credit. It's already getting hard. I'm only on round two. Oh. It's the thing that they're so unpredictable, the ghosts. On the original arcade version, the ghosts are just like. They all have their own personalities and what, how they move. And it's crazy, but. It's, it's funny because I've played a lot of Pac Man recently. As you, when you like eat the ghost, it pauses the whole game for a split second. And most Pac-Man games do like If I eat this ghost now, it's going to stop everything. If I'm going to get a chance to eat it, okay. And it kind of breaks the flow of the gameplay, but I don't mind it. But like, I think I prefer it when you when you, when you eat the ghost, it just straight away. There's no pause because like the later Pac-Man game, there's one the Pac-Man Championships doesn't do that. It just you keep going for like really nice flow, and I do prefer that. But as you see, as you can see, it doesn't stop the game because when you eat a ghost, it pauses your movement and the ghost movement, but the ghost eyes are still moving. It still gives them a chance to regenerate. Oh, see, this happens, it's gone. <laughs> That's what I was good. I wasn't too bad for like my first, second try. What round was that? Round three? I wish it told me round round I was on, but it doesn't. Right, let's go again. So I'm gonna try and like not leave little patches of dots because that seems to screw me over so i'm gonna have to try and like i'm gonna go left side first like i'm not as i said i've only just started getting into darker games so anyone who's good at Pac-Man is probably like we're doing it all wrong but yeah i know i'm just enjoying the game it's just right i love the uh i love the graphics for old school arcade games Another series of oh my god! Another series I've been getting into because I'm getting into arcades. I'm just starting with all the classics. So at the moment, I'm focusing on Pac-Man and Space Invaders original, and I really like the aesthetics of Space Invaders. I've only played the original black and white one, but I don't know. I just really like the graphics. Really nice. What I might do is focus on Pac-Man for now on these streams. But I will go through different versions of Pac-Man. So like next time I might stream like uh, the Atari version for a laugh. But that that version is very easy. We can go on for ages. Oh look at this. I've got like all the ghosts close by. So I could get a full combo. No I haven't got a full combo. I've buggered it. I'm just going to go for the 200. This ain't a bad start though. Oh. Oh look. We can get a. Potentially get a full combo here. Come on. Oh yeah, 1,600 points. That's how you get points fast. I'm almost at 10,000 already from that. That's how you get score. Oh god, I need to lure them away from me. I hardly ever get the fruit. It's so hard to get the fruit. Oh my god, look at this. They need to suddenly turn. I don't know, it's so unpredictable. I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to get the strawberry. Oh, it always happens. Just as I get the fruit, it disappears. See? Oh my god, you got to refocus with these ghosts. I've got another credit, right. So we've got three credit. I haven't lost a credit yet. This is the best run so far. But I'm getting screwed here. Oh. 
you don't really want to stay in one area. You want to keep moving around areas because it kind of pushes the ghost out around. If you stay in one area, it all like sort of congregate around you, and you get screwed. Like what just happened? There is a Pac-Man I used to play. Is the one I used to play a lot when I was young was the uh, Sega Mega Drive Pac-Mania. I really like that game. It's really good. I haven't actually played that on this collection yet, but I'm looking forward to playing that. That was a bad use of the power planet. That really was. Well, are we round two? I think we're in round two. No, that's round. No, we're round three. Because every two rounds, you get a cutscene. So we're doing good. Oh, that was so close. Get that fruit. I need to really focus here. Nice. I think all the ones I've played so far, the worst Pac-Man game for me is Pack and Power. I really don't like that. I don't like that game. We will get to that, but that's the one I at least enjoyed so far. <laughs> right, we're gonna go around this way. We're gonna go. No! I went down. I pressed down. Around for I got. I thought a clear round five. The best I've done is got to round five, but to, I've got to clear it to get that mission done. If I can clear round five, that'd be great, but it's so difficult. Now the speed, the sound gets crazy now. Oh, I got one more credit. One more credit left. Oh man, that's my highest score. Well, I don't know what my highest score is. For some reason, it's reset high score. I don't know why it's done that. I feel like I've done better in this high score. That was round three clear, so we're in round four. But you'll see now, like, when I get the power pellets, it won't last long at all. It's a pro I didn't realise it gets so hard so quickly, this game. Because like, I've heard about the whole, like, there's 255 stages, and if you get 256, it glitches out. I don't know if that's still on this version, but... Man, people can get to 256 round? That's insane. Like, man, people are really good at... Some people are really good at Batman. And I'm not one of them. I would like to get a dedicated like arcade stick for this for arcade games. I don't use my current arcade stick because that's for fighting games, and I'd rather have like a small one, which is like one but like Atari style for old school arcade games. But I haven't. I don't know if people sell those. Like, can you get those easily? It might have to, it might have to be a custom thing. Oh my! We're dead. We're not dead. I need to get a power pellet quickly. It's not too bad. Cause I still got. Okay, that was insane. Thing is, now we're like, oh, that was like crazy. That was round four. Okay, but I'm gonna really. You wanna? I need to try and do the first two rounds without losing a life to have a chance of doing this goal. No, I'm not aiming for score, I'm aiming for round clears, so I need to like not really go for the ghosts when I got power pellet. I was I just want to use the power pellet time just to give me more time to get these pellets. Are they pellets? Or the dots? Because like on some games they're cookies. They're called cookies on some Oh my god, don't you dare! On on some games they're called cookies. I think some games call them pellets and then they're called dots on the originals. So I don't know. <laughs> I do really like the graphics of it, so... I knew that was going to happen. What? He went back. He's weird. He's a really confusing ghost. Because I've started getting into arcade games a lot. I really do want a retro t-shirt of arcade stuff. I would like to have Space Invaders t-shirt or a... Pac-Man t-shirt. You do know there is a... The shopping centre near me was selling a really cool Space Evaded t-shirt. I didn't buy it because I wasn't into arcade games then. I'm hoping they still have it there because I kind of want to get it. Instead, I got my Sim City t-shirt, which is great. But I kind of want to, after this stream, go to that shop and see if they still got that shirt and buy, <laughs> buy it. Because <laughs> I really want that Space Invaders shirt now. I'm going to have to go after this stream and get it. Even though... I'm kind of half dead from the humidity at the moment in Japan. Oh my god. In Japan, uh, it's been... It's rainy season. and oh, People say, well, when it rains, it cools you down. Not in Japan, because when it rains, it's still like tropical rain. So, like, it actually makes things worse. makes the humidity higher. So, even though the temperature is not high, high, the humidity is like, I don't know, 150% or something. So, like, even though it's not actually that hot in temperature-wise, my body is just full of sweat, because... 
It's just like being in an oven or something. It's awful. Round two cleared. Another thing about arcade games, you can just like talk crap while I'm talking to them, like playing them. I guess if you really want to be good at them, you want to focus, but that'd be a boring video for you, everyone to watch. So I, I need to like talk. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to clear this error first. Oh no! Okay, okay. So you can tell I'm not focused on points because I haven't got 10,000 points yet and I'm on round three. By now I would have 10,000 points, which means I still have the potential to get another credit, which is going to be helpful. What's this? This is bad. I've, yeah, I, I should have went up. I knew that was going to happen. I'm going to go to the right, right. I'll wait until all the ghosts... They're going to gun up, so... This is where... Ah, oh, this is where I'm going to get screwed now. I've got to figure out what to do here. I just need to get out of here. All right. They want me dead, don't they? I want my credit back. Oh, no, I've left two, I've left two dots there. I didn't want to do that because all the ghosts are around there. I'm going to have to, like, move them around. That's it. There's so much strategy involved in Pac-Man. You wouldn't think about it, but... When you really want to get good at it, so much to think about, like in terms of placement and where to. Whoa! And try and make the ghosts move away from you and that. It's crazy for its time, this game. I'd love to see, like, the code of this game to see how it was made. I don't even know what it's made in, like. I have no, in I have no like, knowledge of how arcade games are made back in the day. I'd like to look into it. This is like crazy. I know, like now, people just make like, like Pac-Man on like, you know, a, t a typical pr programming e example or like Tortoise would be like, hey, how to make Pac-Man, but that's it's completely completely different to how this was originally made. Oh my god! I'm either gonna get to <laughs> round six. I think the last mission is like clear round fifteen. That's never happening with me. Oh, see him? He just completely changed his pattern. Oh. But only other ports, so like the, the ghosts aren't as like crazy like that. They're more like just move in one direction, so it's so easy. Like, I can get really far on the Arc uh, Atari versions of Pac-Man. Except for Junior Pac-Man, that's a bloody hard game. I miss Pac-Man Atari, it's like really easy. This version. Another Pac-Man I did play a lot as a kid was, uh, was Pac-Man World on PS1, which is a platformer. And I really liked Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness on PlayStation. I rented it. And that was amazing, that game. But, for some reason, you can't emulate that game. Well, you probably can, but every time I try and emulate that game, it just doesn't work. So, there is a Dreamcast version, which I tried to uh, <laughs> burn a CD off like you do with Dreamcast and play it. And that didn't work either, so I've... <laughs> There's no easy way of me getting to play that game again. Maze Madness. They should re-release that one. Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness. Because that was a really good game. Like, it's ain't a bad start. But now I'm kind of like... I just can't predict these ghosts, man. No, so you see it. You're back. What? This is not good. Oh, I thought that pink one was going to... See, I knew it. It's just going to rotate around. Oh, that's no good. Round one, I've already got hit. Oh. Right, we're going to go this way and get this right. Oh, my God. I've already lost a life. Round one only. Okay. I can never see me getting this goal, man. So, we're going to go this way. I'm going to just try and do the bottom half first. I've kind of not done this right. Let's get the fruit. You kind of want to aim for points a bit because you really want to get yourself. Well, well, I mean, getting the first credit is only ten thousand points, but after that, I think it's like thirty or something. It's not much harder to get another credit. So, to me, what I want to do is try and get my first credit early on. So, as it's easiest at the beginning, I need to try and get points and then not worry about points after getting the first credit. I think. Oh, this is where I can get a credit. How much points you get there? 800, boom. Really do get a lot of points for getting that combo. What am I doing? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, my. oh, look at this. Look at this awful, like, what I've done with the dots. I've just spat, I've splattered them everywhere. It's like no good. 
Oh, I don't know what. You. <laughs> I can still get credit. Oh, I know I'm round two of it. This is a bad round. This is not a good round at all. Oh my god. Yeah, you can tell what round you're on because I think the fruit got upgrades each round. This is the credit cutscene, so now I'm on round three. Okay. I'm trying to think of what I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Oh, I see that. Got my credit right. I need to clear this round out again here. So I want to go down. I'm not going to bother that fruit. Alright, I'm just going to get this. Just use the time to get dots. Oh, I've done it again. I've splattered all these dots everywhere. Oh, I'm screwed. <laughs> but I'm going to go through the dots down here first since the ghost is still not fully out yet. Just give me an opportunity to get these dots quick. Let's get an orange. Is that an orange? I'm not sure. Where's if old arcade games in like food? <laughs> oh, look at this bad. This is not good. And the thing is, they're slightly faster than you. But if you go around corners, you can kind of like you seem you seem to be quick around corners than the ghosts. So I, I need to kind of turn around corners fast to get away from ghosts, and I didn't get far at all there. Alright, let's do another one. So I'm gonna go this way. I, I think. I think Pac-Man goes faster as it goes long. I feel like I think everything does go slightly faster. Because I seem to, what's this star? Oh my god! Oh, I'm not. Oh, there's, no, there's no quick way. There's no easy way to like. Oh, you can return to the start screen. You can. Okay, I'm gonna restart that because that was that was crap. <laughs> is, is my broadcast still working? Yeah. Okay. Good. I'm gonna do a few more attempts. I'm gonna do like, three or four more before I stop. I don't. I aim to make these videos not too long, so I don't. I don't make it like an hour and a half. I could play for longer than that, but you know, it's a bit too long, isn't it, for a video? So I think we should aim for like 40, 45 minutes reach stream for these retro games. Just uh, it's a good amount of. I think this is a good amount of time. That is. I could go longer. Maybe one day I'll do like a special long episode or something where I really try and get somewhere, but. Have you really, I've just realised I've just took all the power pellets already and that's like the worst thing to do because now I'm like I've got no backup plans so now I'm just going to be screwed. And look at all these pellets scattered around. Oh my god. Pellets, dots, whatever they're called. Pills is what they are. Pac-Man's on like he's on a mental drug trip and he needs pills to get fix that drug trip. That's what it's like. Oh my god. This is the... See? Look, that was lucky that they all went weird. So I knew if I went down, I would have got captured by two of them. I need to just move them away from me. I think just for how, as time goes long, they get... Oh, I'm gone. As time goes long, it's faster as well. I swear, is Pac-Man moving faster as well? I feel like Pac-Man's moving faster. I think everything moves faster. Wait, round one, I would have got 3,500 points. <laughs> Terrible. It's because I just got all the power pellets so early on, so I got no good score. You really want to eat the ghosts. Of course. Oh, I don't want to... Ugh. I can get two guys here. This would be good. Here we go. I kind of need to get that extra credit. Here we go. Got a good combo going on here. Nice. Uh-oh. Oh, thank God that blue one over there. Okay. I could have got killed then. That, that orange could have easily went straight into me there. Nice, that's how you get it. Oh, there's a one, there's a one dot. Oh my god! Okay, we've got to get that power pellet quick. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, is this round one? No, this is round two, okay. Oh, that was so unfair. I thought I was going to get it. It's brutal, it's really brutal, this game. I should really get a ghost there, because I think each pellet gives you, like, only 10 points so like the benefit of eating ghosts is so high on this game okay round three and i've lost life have i got wait have i got no life left 
I've got no lights. Oh my god, there's another bad round, isn't it? So, oh, I knew it. See, you can't, you can't think they're always going to follow you. I got a credit. Oh, I thought I was going to die then. I thought I was going to just eggs. The, the pet was going to go off just as I was about to eat him. It looks like when they go through that weird, like, those like pathways on the right to go to the other side, it slows everything down, which is good. Oh my god! Okay, that was scary. So I need to just like, ah. Oh. What do I do? I don't know. I'm just, that's me. Oh, oh, you don't want to just. You kind of like at what midway you're gonna. You kind of trying to read what they're gonna do. Because are they gonna trap me? Are they gonna suddenly go a different direction? You have no idea. So it's just like, oh, sometimes it's good to just like stay in one spot and try and let them move somewhere else. But that was terrible. Was that round three again? Oh my god! I can't even get to round four. I can't even get to round five this time. I'm trying to not get a power pellet yet until all the ghosts are out. Okay. So I could be boring and just wait, like, sit next to a power pellet and wait until all the ghosts are near me, but that'd be, that's just boring. Because there's no time in it on these games. Is he going to catch me out? Yeah, I can't get that yet. I'm going to go this way. There we go. Oh, they're just like, they really do play of you, they do. Uh, you can tell like, a lot of like, I feel like a lot of trial and error and a lot of like thought went into like, making this game because it's not like they just made a game and didn't really, you can tell that like, they tested it and tried a lot of experimentation with how the ghosts work because it's just, it's crazy how they work on this. Definitely a lot of passion went into making this game, I can tell. Games with like really well thought like well thought systems and like how things work and point systems, you can tell that's where the person who made it has a passion for it. So a lot of games nowadays they don't really they have, like they want to make a game just because it's cool and they like the idea and like the uh, well, but they don't actually have that much passion for actually mastering the uh, elements of the game. They can't be asked. Most games these days are kind of lazy with like really putting effort into the systems. So when you play an old game like this, it's just like, oh man, I wish there was more passion like this in games. There still is sometimes, but it's very rare. Really, it's Capcom, really. I can think of the only company I know that actually have passion still for their games. Oh, I'm gone! <laughs> is this round one still? It can't be. This is going to be round two, isn't it? I'm. I've been talking away and not really taking it in. Uh, this is round one. No, it's round two because it's the uh, strawberry. Thank God. I've got to say, really. I think I'm going to make this my last game for the day. So we're going to make it count. Oh, we're not making it count, are we? <laughs> oh, God. Right. Oh my god, it's scary. These ghosts are scary as hell. Oh, why the never leave the pack dots near the ghost area. Okay. It's like the ghosts are sheep in a pen and they get released. <laughs> They're like evil sheep. That was round two done. I oh, really, it's weird, isn't it? If you look at the arc, the arcade like graphics, like the. On the side, like Pac Man. What the hell is that? That's nothing like Pac Man. He looks really weird. He looks, he looks more like an alien. Okay, here we go, here we go. I wish it had more like of a collection. I can understand why it has this uh, Pac Man Museum it hasn't got Miss Pac Man because Miss Pac Man and Juno Pac Man they weren't even made by Bandai. And they weren't made by Namco. That's why some of the games you have, why aren't they on here? It's because they're not actually weren't actually made. So they're official Pac Man, but they're not official because like Miss Pac Man wasn't actually made by Namco. Neither was Juno Pac Man. After Pac-Man, it wasn't a pac man made by Namco until, like, uh, Pac-Man Land or Super, Super Pac-Man, that was it. It was quite a long time. That's why it's not in the collection, because it's not actually a Namco game. I don't have the rights to, I guess. 
Oh, well, I guess I have the right. I must have the right to it. It's Pac-Man's main name, but it's like uh, Midway made it or something like that. So it's it's interesting because like Midway, there's like the American division of Pac-Man. Really, they made a load more games than in Japan. There's a lot, a lot half the Pac-Man games are actually not made in Japan. Where well, Space Invaders is just um, uh, Taito, I think. I don't know. There might be other Space Invaders that are made by other companies because that was a big thing back in the day as well. I think I want to focus on like uh, Namco and Taito arcade games first because they're like just the ultimate classics. And I do really like Taito's, and I, I do. One of my favorite companies is Taito. I haven't really played enough of their games. The, the Taito games I've played the most of is. Whoa! Darius! And Puzzle Wobble. Oh, I'm done. Game over. Oh, I thought I had another credit. Really? I was at round three again. What I like about this, if you go to Return to Arcade, it'll tell you like each round and what score you got, so it's an easy way to log. That's why this version is really good, because it gives you a good idea. It's like an easy way to log your scores. That seven doesn't count, so I think I quit early on. Man, I, I didn't even get 20,000. The best one was my fourth time. It was the best score. Wow. I think rounds are the top, the right. Each round gives you a coin, so it all only got to round four each time. Wow. That was terrible. So these are the missions I've got left to do. I've got to get 30,000. Right, my best score is 26,000 so far. So I'm aiming for 30,000 and five rounds. But you've got to get to round 15. That's never going to happen with me. And 50,000 score? I don't know. I've got to play a long time to get that. So that's one of the mini games. So yeah. I think we're going to stop there. Next time I might... I'm going to probably either do another Pac-Man... I might just do Pac-Man again, another run, I don't know. Or I might move on to the next one, which is Super Pac-Man, which is probably my... I think it's my favourite Pac-Man game at the moment. At this time, I think my favourite Pac-Man is Super Pac-Man. My second favourite is Pac-Mania, and then... Original Pac-Man. Okay. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.